one of the great lessons that we can take from uh, the three incidents happened between Musa السلام, and Al Khadr السلام. Look, they said قال, the three possible, let's say, categories of Qadr. Keep it in your mind. Now, the first incident, a group of fishermen, they have a they are very poor working on a boat. Now, Musa and Al Khadr, when he came, he made a hole inside it. He damaged the boat partly. Now, for them, for Musa السلام, he said, What are you doing? You want to destroy it? You want to damage their source of rizq? You want to destroy their truck? You want to destroy their bus? Their whatever? Why are you doing so and so? Allah is teaching Musa, and the whole story is a lesson for us. First category. The people of the boat, those people, they witnessed the tests, the hats, the problem, the disaster, and they realized the wisdom immediately in a few hours or a few days. Now look, category number one. Something will happen to you. This is the light timeline. Okay? Now, something happened to you here. You were saying, why Allah, why Allah? Shortly, Allah will show you why. <laughs> it's like, for example, for example, you wanted to go in a, let us say, camping with a group of people your parents are not satisfied with. They were begging you not to go with them. And you were killing yourself to go with them. Because not, they are not good company. Something happened against your will, you missed the ticket, you could not catch them, and you felt very sorry and very bad. Few days later, you discovered all of them, they were having drugs, and they were under alcohol and drugs, and they did sexual harassment, and they attacked a group, and all of them at jail now, and one of them made a car accident, and he is dead. And you were supposed to be with them. Once you know this piece of information, immediately, sujood shukur. This happened, let's say, today, you discovered the wisdom two days later. This is category number one. When something apparently bad, you hate it, you feel bad, then you discover, say, alhamdulillah. This is category number one. Category number two. Now I will just refer with the coding system because we have children, okay? For, for the adults because they might not be able to grasp it because it's a revelation by the will of Allah that young kid he just passed away now his parents had no idea when why how we know because Allah told us it's like you or me I just found my son dead on his bed because of the coronavirus the virus was sent by Allah and he lost his life, period. Now look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. We have two righteous parents. They had a son. This son, if he lived, he will be a disaster. A very dangerous. So Allah decided just to close this fight. Why he was sent Aslan, it's part of their test. They were given a son. Then Allah took this son. After this son was taken, their reaction, Alhamdulillah. Allah replaced them with another son, better than him, 10 times, Aqraba Ruhma, more close. And they had no idea when, why, how he passed away. <laughs> Category number two. Yani, they did not know what we know. But they submitted. So they were replaced and they don't know that this was a replacement about this and they had no idea. And category number two. Now category number three, which is the most, the most serious, dangerous, beautiful and common. Wallahi, it's mind blowing for me the third one. Imagine two prophets, two Prophets, one of them from Uri al Azm, from the top high rank, Musa alayhi salam. The other one, Zal Khadr alayhi salam. Because, you know, after investigation, most likely they, they, 
the ulama, the trustworthy ulama, they believe that Al-Khadr is not a wali, he is a nabi, he is a prophet, okay? So we have two prophets. Can you imagine two prophets traveling in the wild between villages? They were hungry and thirsty. They came to a village. Can you feed us? No. They were very stingy, mean people. Yet, when they left, came to the suburbs of the town, they found a wall about to fall down. Then Al Khadr started to fix it. Musa alayhi salam. No shit. At least those stingy, you know, people at least ask, you know, let this effort be in compensation with some money, some food. What was the reaction now? وأما الجدار فكان لغلامين يتيمين في المدينة وكان تحته كنز لهما وكان أبوهما صالح. The justification is mind blowing. He said. What you don't know, that this wall, this underneath this wall, there's a treasure. And this wall belongs to two orphans in the town or in the city. And they are orphans. And their father was a righteous person. Can you imagine? A righteous father did his job in terms of being a good, good practicing believer. He passed away. He's in his grave now. Because Allah loves him to protect his two young kids while sleeping at home, Allah sends two prophets to work as two construction builders with mud to take care of a wall to preserve their treasure that will or might be discovered 30 years later or 40 years later, Allah knows. If they are seven and Allah decided to let them discover their treasure in the age of 30 or 40 or 50, Allah knows. The justification for this, he was righteous. Pause now. Who can control this? Or knows, who can know these details? Impossible. Because it's pure ghaib. Why I told you it's mind blowing. Pure ghaib. No access to one billion percent to this knowledge. One billion percent, not one thousand. One in a billion, one in a ten trillion percent of possibility, you don't have it. Who's doing for when you have no idea? Allah is controlling these possibilities. Wallahi, it's, it's why I told you mind blowing. When you want to do a research now in Google, just in Google browser, you put a keyword, just you press, psh, 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 what did I tell you? 18 million results in a second. Listen a second. You do. Psh, psh. What's this? You know what does it mean? 18, for example, 18 points, uh, results in a second, which means this electrical thinks it went and like opened and searched and took a result and bring it to you in a second. I mean, what is the possibilities of complications that has been done in a second? Can you, you can't imagine it. You can't imagine it. But we human beings, we are able to do it. So what about these things would happen in the universe for us? By Allah. So this is the third category. Where? Because of the khair that your father did, your grandmother did, your grand, great, great grandmother, you never know. Allah knows. You might be living under the blessing and the barakah of that person. And you are protected of that. But what's next? Whatever you do, Allah will honor you with those whom you love. You got my point? So when you speak about this, why am I mentioning all of these points? Put this point in the context of understanding the status of Aisha. Aisha is just 16. Facing, from her point of view, the biggest disaster in her life ever. Accusation of committing fahisha. She knows nothing, how, when, why, what is the wisdom, why Allah allowed this? Nothing at all. The end result, what we have explained, which could be understood. That's why let's connect this with the three categories of qadr that you might be facing, especially apart from the possibility that I might be punished.